Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to make this adorable card and we're using the Propagation Garden Collection by Annie Williams. Um, this holder right here I absolutely love, but I wanted to use it without any vase or anything that was in it and this is what I came up with. Um, I also wanted to use my wonderful wax seal and that hello. Uh, seal I had made these in another video and this was one I had and so I'm using this as my sentiment which is really fun right all right let's look at the dies that we're going to use today from this collection um, so we're going to make the little planter here like that looks 3d and I love making this this goes over here like that and then we're going to um, add a little uh, distressing to our pieces over here and I've got some in black I have my little rod here and my little um, sides right here out of that um, die so these go here with this okay I've cut the black rod I've cut this little one I call these it looks like a book to me um, but they're actually these little tops right here and it gives it a nice, real, really nice 3D effect. I've cut this one right here out of the larger one. I cut out of darker brown cardstock and the light one out of some light brown cardstock. And that's going to go right down here. And again, we'll distress it a little bit. Then these two uh, right here, this one, it goes on the sides here. And it gives it that, that depth that we need for this planter. And then the sides, the bottom, and sides again. So two sides here, sides here, and a bottom right there, and we'll put it all together. Okay. All right, so these are the dies that I use. Let me push these out of the way. First, what we're going to do is I've got this pretty card stock right here. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. My base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Oh, about open that the wrong way. This is Nina White card stock. I get this on Amazon. That's linked below. I am an affiliate. There are links below for you to click on when you do that uh, and place an order. I receive a small commission that's at no cost to you. And um, this has nothing to do with this video, but I have to show you. I found, because yesterday's um, video was about watercoloring, and this is set six, the Ranger Distress Watercolor Pencils. I found these on Amazon. And so I think it's in a set four, five, and six on Amazon. I've linked it below under my Amazon. Um, one, but you can get them there. I think you have to buy all three sets. I don't think they come individual on Amazon, so, but I thought that I would link that for you, and I just wanted to tell you about that today when I found that yesterday. I was so surprised. I was like, wow, look at that. Okay, so first what we're going to do is let's use our leafy helix embossing folder from the Propagation Garden Collection. Uh, I love this collection. So much fun. So much fun. Now this is not a 3D embossing folder and I love it because you don't really have to have this too straight. See it says right down here E or SES 059. It doesn't say E3D. Okay. So let's bring in the platinum right here. And I'm going to look at my sandwich for my regular embossing, which is right here. How to build a standard embossing folder sandwich. Very easy. A, B, your um, project with the paper and your cutting plate. So A, B, our embossing folder with the paper. There's our project. And cutting plate C. I guess I could turn that over to where everything's not upside down. It doesn't really matter, though, if it is upside down. So let's go ahead and roll this through. Get some nice embossing going on there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Here we go. Look how pretty that is. It's leafy, it is soft, but it's also geometric. Isn't that fantastic? How all of those elements can go into one. I also love the deboss side. That is really, really too cool. I love it. I love both sides of this paper, but we're going to use the emboss side for this project. Let's go ahead. Let me get things out of the way. Now, normally I would go ahead and better press with you guys, um, but I was better pressing the other day, just having fun better pressing. And um, I did these leaves. I did these right here. 
I just had fun. I was just having a blast. While I was making this, I just kept going and making these. I just kept better pressing them. So I want to use what I have already made. So we're going to do that with these today in this video. And now what I'm going to do is bring in my splatter box. And I want to splatter this. Now I, I found some, I keep saying, this, this is unbelievable, okay? My daughter took, my youngest daughter, when she was 10, she's 42 right now. Um, when she was about 10 years old, she took watercoloring coloring class. She loved to draw and paint. These are that old and they're still good. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in here. And I cannot believe how that these paints are still good. That looks a little bit watery to me. Let's do this. Go right there. Let's use that one. And I might bring some of that over. And I'm just going to put a little water in here. Just like that. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to flick this on here. I'm bring some more of that over and make it a little bit more white. Just using what I have, right? Ooh, got a little bit heavy handed there. That's okay. For what we're doing on this card, it's okay. All right. Let's get a little bit more down here. Okay, let me clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned my mess up and I also blotted this a little bit um, with a towel. Uh, and so we'll just use it like this. That is just fine because most of this down here is going to be covered up. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little, woo, <laughs> wee, a little um, dark chocolate from Gina K Designs. Use any brown you have. And I'm just going to distress these lighter pieces that I've got going on here. And I try to remember to tap off the best I can so that I don't get like a blob of ink. Sometimes I forget. There we go. And we'll just move through our little pieces here the best we can. Oh, see, I forgot to tap off. But did it matter? No. The more distressed on this wood, the better. And I'm doing this on this one is like smooth. It doesn't have a wood grain because some of it will show a little bit. Some of the inside of it will show. So I just felt it best to do the entire piece. There we go. I love this propagation garden. This weekend I was watching videos and I have seen so many things that like I want to do with this collection. I have to admit this planter catches my eye every time I go to it. I'm like, oh, let me make that planter. <laughs> so. A little shout out to my crafty friend Kelly. I hope you're feeling better today. She had been undefinitely under the weather. So I just want to tell her she watches my videos all the time. It does help if you watch videos for anyone all the way through. It helps the algorithms. So I appreciate everyone that does that. But I just wanted to tell her I hope she's feeling better. Not good, right? It, ever to be sick. It just seems like sicknesses here, I don't know, lately, like people get like really sick. You know, there we go. Okay, and that's it for that a little sponge dauber there. You could use a blending brush, anything you want. Okay, all right. So now let's go ahead and attempt to put this together. <laughs> I always say attempt because you guys know me. There's no telling what could happen in this craft room. 
um, let's see, so there are etched markings on these dies, okay, like here and here. And that's where you need to kind of stay in the perimeter of. Let's go ahead and get some glue out. Now, Spellbinders is having a huge sale. $1, $5, $10 kind of sale in the warehouse. I had posted a little um, picture. I found a way. This is so funny. I found a way to post pictures now. I just do it through my video. I just um, put it in the video portion of my computer and I can actually post an advertisement, which is a really good workaround for me. There we go. Just like that. And let's get these guys on the sides, just like this. And see what I meant about the inside showing a little bit right there. So that is what is going on. Yeah, I was happy when I posted that picture of the big warehouse sale that Spellbinders is having. They have better press, they've got hot foil, they've got dies, uh, stamp sets. I mean, there's just everything just absolutely everything and great prices now I do post things over on my Facebook page you can follow me there's a link below for that on my Facebook page um, and I do put certain you know little things that I think you might be interested in but of course you can't post the entire you know thing uh, sale but I put sales for scrapbook.com and spellbinders over there some Gina K sometimes. Little doodads, what I think you guys might like to see. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and that just gives it some nice weight, right? Okay, now this part. This is the part that is the 3D, okay? So, this is where you have to really look, okay, for your etching parts, okay? This little square here, these little ones in through here, here, and the bottom, and the sides, okay? So really basically the whole piece. Um, so you want to make sure this has the wood grain, and you want to make sure when you put it here, no, see that's the wrong way. This one goes on this side, okay, just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Put that right there. Just like that. And let's spin that around and make sure that we've got things. Let's look at it up here. Hmm, that's not right. Nope. But this one goes on that side. Yep. That one goes on that side. Okay. So let's let's put this inside piece on first. Okay. So do just like what I'm doing right there. Look at it. Um, especially if you have inked it up and it's dark like this. You know, you're going to want to really take a peek at it. Okay. Watch this come to life in this 3D just with color of cardstock. It's going to come to life in a 3D effect. Right here. Just like that. Oh, I love it. Okay, now see, now look at the top there. It kind of goes away, right? But I'm, I'm going to show you. I will show you where did they go? Where did those little... I had them. Unless they're stuck to the bottom of my... Yep. Look at this. <laughs> there they are. Stuck to the bottom of the platinum. Here they are. Oh my goodness. Guys. This is why 
like you have to like remember what you've or try to I guess I don't know remember what you've done and guess stuck to the bottom of the platinum oh my gosh I'm glad I found them I would have just cut others but I'm glad I found because I thought okay what did I have here on this desk okay there we go now let's get these little guys on because I don't want to lose them again okay let's see that one goes right there I do believe and watch when I add this how all of a sudden you see it right that's amazing just this these little pieces that's how important that they are right here Just like that. Okay, and then these are going to go right on there. Isn't that amazing? That, that just amazes me. I love it. Okay, now this guy is the top one. Okay, and it stays with the other brown pieces that make that little um, part of the planter. And these kind of angle like this, okay? Just like in there. Let me get this straight here. There we go. Nice. And now we'll put this little guy on. Now, watch the angle here. Okay? Comes like this. Or I'm sorry, like this. Okay? Watch the angles. Because those angles are what give it its depth. I believe just like so. I think we're good. Oh my goodness. This goes here. Now, let me show you another part, and I've shown this in other videos. There's little slits right here. Make sure your slits are open. Okay, and try not to tear the piece, the thin piece of paper right there which this is now supported with that other piece that we put up there. But you know what goes in there? It's this. So stinking cute. Is this the cutest planter ever? And I had been using um, some vases that I had from Simon Hurley in this collection. Look at that. thread that right through there come on here we go just like that and flatten that out and make it even just like that oh my goodness okay now right here right here and let's put this little guy on here just like so, yep, just like that. Now remember, you're just dealing with paper here, okay? No biggie. There we go. And now I'm going to flip it over. And I want to put some strips of adhesive on here. I'm going to put this toward the bottom because I want to hide my little greenery kind of right in here. Okay, I'll just tear some of these. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could get your strip over your little black line here to give it a little bit more um, stability, okay? But first, make sure you're as even as you can get it, okay? And then you can put your little strip right here, and then that holds that in place. And right here. I received this from scrapbook.com. Uh, whenever you order from them, there's always a free something or other that they have. And this was free. And I'm telling you, I just love it. And I would order it again. Although I have just placed an order the other day on Spellbinders for the one that's a 16th of an inch. So I'm excited about that. Let's bring our base in here. It's dry now. And uh, here's the card base. And then here's the piece that goes on top, just like that. We'll start to put our pretties together. Oh, I love that. I just about want to use that side. Maybe I should have splattered that side just to make the cards a little bit different. I have to remember, I don't always have to do matchy-matchy, right? Little extra glue because of the embossing. Tap, tap. Now sometimes when you do something like this, you get that little white um, border up there because the embossing folder kind of shrinks up the paper a little bit. And sometimes you just have to, let's maneuver our paper around here where we want it. And that looks good. Sometimes you just have to give it a bit of a trim. And that's what we'll do right here in my little I have something coming from Spellbinders that I'm absolutely excited that they sent me. It's a new product for next month. I'm excited about it. And then I'm seeing that I'm a little bit over here, okay? So I'm just going to put it in my guillotine. I have some tools coming, so I'm just really excited that they're going to send that to me. Okay, there we go. Now little nice little splatter just to give it a little depth or um, you know so that things just don't totally blend in now watch this oh my goodness do you love this planter oh, I just love the little thing I'm in love with this thing I don't know you know there's just certain things in crafting that you're like wow that is for me this is for me look at this that is so stinking cute right so I'm just going to place a little glue back here, and I want to glue it to this first. I'm kind of just putting it into my foam that's down there. That's going to hold it too, just like that. Now, this is my favorite um, flower from, what is that, The those leaves? Let's see, where is it? I've got it right here. The tropical leaves. They're so beachy to me, especially this one for whatever reason. And I'm going to put this right in here, okay? And I'm going to pop this up with uh, some foam. Let me get my foam out. And I'm going to put this right back here. I'm just going to let that sit right there. Now I'm going to come back in with a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to put this, just going to sneak it back here. Just a little, a little dabble do ya. Just at this junction right here. And then on this one, whoop. There we go. Put a block on that. Okay. Let's go ahead and attach our hello so that we know where to put the other flowers. Now, honestly, I almost left it just like this. I just love this. I love this flower. 
So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue back here. Um, let's see, I think I want to use some double-sided tape on this. Let me use that. And I have no idea where I got this from. It's just in my drawer. Let's put our beautiful wax seal with, that's going to be my sentiment, our hello right there. Ah, I love it. Okay, now let's see, where are these guys going? Let's look, maybe here, maybe there, here. This one I was a little bit off with the cutting, so let's see if we can mask it right there a little bit. about just like that. Maybe we need to scooch that over. Bring this one in. Put that one here. How about that? Just a bunch of leaves in the planter. I love it. I, that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. Now, let's try to remember <laughs> what we've done. Um, little foam put that right there let's see we'll put this little green one down flat Bring this little guy up here. Go that way with it. Bring that in here. Ooh, then we can tuck that back behind, right? Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm trying to hide this part, but I might not be successful with that, huh? I don't want it be to be that crazy obvious that you are hiding something, right? Sometimes it's just best to leave it. How about like that? That looks pretty good. Let's do that. Pop this one up and just kind of layer it right there. And let's go ahead and do I pop that one up? I think that would look great popped up. Okay, let's do that too. And that there. Let me get my small ones out. Always good to have all the sizes. And here we go. And I think I'm just going to layer that one right in here. Just like that. Oh, okay. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. So it's the propagation garden with the tropical leaves. And the, this is the frames. I use the frames. Had, I just love them. They're just too cute. I know you guys will have a ton of fun with this collection. And I love this wax seal. Just so pretty. And I used it as the sentiment. So here is our card for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Why am I not sticking? Because we need glue, right? I keep pushing it, but it's not. If it doesn't stick, then the glue's not there, right? Here we go. There we go. And there it is. Oh, I love this planter. I'm in love with the planter. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this card and putting together our planter together. Um, I mean, with each other, I should say. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.